Hey everybody, Josh here from Android Central and I thought I'd show you guys a game I saw in the market called Puzzle Prism. I'm doing it on the phone and not on the tablet because unfortunately it doesn't scale very well on the tablet screen. It looks very stretched out, uh, but on the phone screen it looks absolutely great. So before I get into it, Puzzle Prism, how to explain it, it's like a 3D Tetris-esque kind of game. Uh, very fast paced, very very cool. Uh, and with that in mind, let's just see how it actually works. So we hit start, standard mode is all I have unlocked. And what you do is you rotate around and you can you can ah, flip things up. You are trying to always make the pieces fit and you have to use kind of your own spatial um, awareness to pull that off. You flick down to send a piece downward, you rotate left and right, and you can actually flip it up and down. That was a terrible move. Uh, da, 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 let's see. <laughs> Obviously not the most impressive playing on my part. Getting a bit distracted with talking. But you'll notice that... Here we go. Couple of breaks. Uh, as... Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, as you uh, clear out whole rows down there, uh, they light up white and explode, and that's how you keep the ever-increasing uh, tower, ever-heightened tower, from catching up to you. Let's see, perhaps that will work. It's very cool. You can see I'm on level 2 now, uh, line 13, and my score was plus 977 for that one right there. Uh, as I've mentioned before, very, very pretty game. Pretty cool kicking soundtrack in the back. And it gets much more fast paced. I will admit that I enjoyed the controls a bit more on the tablet just because it's easier to control, in my opinion, with more screen real estate. But this is not bad at all. Definitely workable. Ah, two chain. And definitely. Enjoy, ah, darn it, blew that one. Also, if you look in the top right corner of the screen, you can see what your next shape is going to be. Uh, bunch of terrible moves on my part. Let's see if I game over right now. Probably. Let's do it. All right, game over time. Ah, game over. Uh, top left corner, briefly, you so see you got a trophy, you got a trophy, so there are trophies involved in this game. Game over. And once you come off of the game over screen, you're given a little recap of how you performed in the level, high score, maximum chain, etc., etc. Now you can also submit this, and uh, what do I want my name to be? How about my name? Uh, there it is. And I am 9086, so there is a big leaderboard that you can try and compete for. Uh, Max Chain KBD 10, super awesome high score, so it looks like he's the guy to beat. But in a nutshell, that is Puzzle Prism. Uh, you can check out your records. So uh, I got 4 out of 88 trophies. You can see 50,000 points in standard, a bunch of things that you haven't unlocked yet. Um, options, sound, keypad, uh, flick control, and then there's also a tutorial. Very cool game, Puzzle Prism, if you were uh, a fan of any puzzle game, but especially the Tetris games and want something with a new kind of take on it, Puzzle Prism is definitely something I'd recommend. It is a paid app in the market, it's a couple of bucks. But if you're looking for something to kill some time that looks great and runs well, uh, Puzzle Prism is in the Android market.